Hello friends, in the series of BSC IPF, today we will talk about debt funds. In last few sessions, we have seen if investor wants to invest in equity, then what are the options available for him? Also, how equity fund works, we have seen. Today in this session, we will try to understand the basics about debt fund. Before we proceed, let us understand what exactly debt word means. Debt means borrowing. Debt means loan. So for example, if I want to have 100 rupees, and if you are having that 100 rupees, I will ask this 100 rupees from you. If I want to borrow 100 rupees from you and if you are ready to lend this to me, first you will check the credibility whether I am going to return that money or not. You will check my past record, you will check my credibility, you will consult with few people and then you will decide. Once you have decided to lend that 100 rupees to me, then second thing you will consider is for how long you are going to lend that money to me. So second thing came is tenor. The third thing which will come in our transaction will be at what rate you will be ready to lend that money to me. Are you going to lend that for free or you will charge some interest? So you will compare the interest rates of banks, cooperative societies, commercial banks, private lenders and according to my, according to the risk you are going to bear while lending that money to me, you will compare all the things and then you will decide some interest rate. Then if tenor is, read, tenor is decided, amount is decided and interest rate is decided, while receiving that 100 rupees, I will write all the things on one paper and I will say I will return 100 rupees at the rate of 8% for example in 3 years to you. So you will give this 100 rupees to me and I will give this paper to you. As I am giving this paper to you where I have, I have mentioned the amount, tenor, interest, time duration, everything. I am giving this paper to you, I will be the issuer. As this is the only paper which is a security with you or this is a paper which is only security with you. So this paper will be called as a security oblique debt paper in this example. And as you are giving 100 rupees to me to get this paper, that means you are an investor. Who all can issue the papers? Who all can issue the papers? Government can issue the papers, banks can issue the papers and corporates can issue the papers. For how long these three entities are going to issue the papers will decide according to the time duration the name of that paper or the category of that paper. If government is issuing a paper for less than one year, that paper will be called as T-bills, treasury bill. If bank is issuing a paper for less than one year, then that will be called as a certificate of deposit. If the corporates, financial institutions are issuing paper for less than one year, then that will be called as a commercial paper. But if government is issuing a paper for more than one year or longer than that, for whatever whatever number of period, whatever number of years, then that paper will be called as a GSEC, government securities. If banks are issuing a paper for more than one year, then that will be called as a bonds. And if corporates are issuing paper for more than one year, that will be called as a debentures. So these three, T-bills, CDs and CPs are money market instruments. And these are general other options available there. So considering if any company is coming up with some debt fund, so whatever amount they are collecting as an AUM, where they are putting that money, are they going to put that in T-bills, are they going to put in CPCDs, are they going to put in bonds or debentures according to that, the treatment of that fund will get decided or the name of that or the theme of that fund will get decided. So in this next section, we are going to see what are the options available in the debt fund. Today we have just seen the basics about debt fund. If you want to know more some about different topic, then please mention it in comment section. Don't forget to write name you along with your email address in the comment section. Also don't forget to say thanks to BSC IPF and SEBI because BSC IPF is bringing these sessions to you. Stay home, stay safe.